This is Mitchell from Gamefront, and this is the HD version of Shadow of the Colossus. This video will cover the Seventh Colossus. Alright guys, here we are, the Seventh Colossus. So, for this one, what you want to do is first get its attention by uh, just swimming around the water, swim around above its head, eventually you'll see its eyes turn red, and that will clue you in on the fact that it's about to charge at you. And once you see that happen, you need to keep on swimming forward, get out of range of its head when it uh, breaches the, sur the surface, and just keep on. Now once it's you know passed, you want to swim forward, so you want to follow it. And the goal is to grab onto its tail while it's you know moving forward. And I didn't grab on right there. I don't know what happened. But that's the uh, that's general idea. So we're going to give it another go right here. As soon as you're ready. <laughs> So one of the reasons why I don't like this uh, this battle that much is, just, is because it's really reliant on the temperament of the Colossus. If it's not in the mood to charge at you, you're kind of just stuck swimming around for like five minutes. Oh, come on, buddy. You got to give me something to work with here. I can't dive down that far. One of the things that I love about the, the boss battles in Shadows of the Colossus, or Shadow of the Colossus, is that they actually are kind of realistic in a way. It's not like, you know, a punch out game where the weaknesses are, or your opportunity to strike is extremely obvious, you know. They're not doing something and then pulling up their shirt and laughing saying, hey, hit me in the stomach, They're, uh, they all behave pretty realistically, like, he's just trying to kill you, it's the only way he really can. So yeah, you're just grabbing onto his back right now, and once he surfaces, you're going to run across his back, and you see those orange little electricity things? You're gonna run up to each of them and stab them really quickly with your sword. You don't need to do a full-on stab, just a really quick stab. Two of them if you have to. And once that one's dead, you're gonna go to the next one. You know it's gone when it's not orange anymore. Same thing. So we have to hit twice. Or maybe three times. Just, just for good measure. Alright, let's, let's do a real stab. I guess he doesn't like those uh, little pricks. Now that it's uh, going underwater, you can pretty much just let go. There's uh, there's nothing you can do right now. But I'm going to hold on as long as I can because I just like doing things that are counterproductive. You don't have to worry about drowning. For whatever reason, you have iron lungs in addition to titanium fingers. And for whatever reason, your grip meter is also your oxygen meter, or your, you know, I can't stay underwater any longer meter. Alright, same thing here, we're waiting for the eye to turn red. Apparently he doesn't really care about us anymore. Like, oh, it's that guy, he's just swimming. Let's just leave him alone. So there was like a rude gesture button, like giving the middle finger again to charge at you immediately. Mm 
All right, here we go. I'm gonna grab onto the tail. Hold on for dear life. Got that last uh, thing right here. And that will reveal the main weak point. All right, all we need now is a couple good stabs. Oh, it doesn't like it. He's dunking us. Oh, I think I got that one. Oh, there we go. Going underwater isn't enough to stop me. I guess the squiggly squiggly lines aren't gonna aren't gonna come this time. I don't see any squiggly lines. Where are the squiggly lines? Where are the squiggly lines? Where are the... Are they coming? Oh god! Thanks for watching our walkthrough for Shadow of the Colossus, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.